everyone, welcome back to Spring Web Flux Essentials. And in this video, we are going to split the business logic between controller and repository, and we are going to add the service in between. Before we go there, uh, let's just come here and uh, we were using block hound uh, during the project reactor training. So I will just add it here, make sure that we are not blocking. And another thing, I disabled this one because it was taking some time to to start. So I will leave it back again and you will see that uh, it hangs a little bit when you are starting your application. So uh, right now we don't have the service. Let's create the package. Let's call this package service and inside this package you call a class. You create a class called anime uh, service. So anime service, it's a service, a bin component and uh, we can also add here SLF4J and then required Rx constructor. You copy the anime repository and add here to anime service. And basically here you create anime service, anime service, and you change here this guy to anime service as well. And you press uh, in my option here is not showing up. It should show up. And that is what I'm looking for. Create a method inside anime service, and then you return anime repository dot final. So now that we have uh, this anime service, we can test the application. Remove the unused imports and start the application. Make sure that you have your database running. You see, it's taking. A little bit of time to for the application to start and if I just stop this application and I remove this actually the performance will be a bit better you can see that's it starts faster but since we are using uh, dev tools we can uh, just use the hot swap but yeah, for this case it will not work anyway okay so pressing enter you can see that uh, this is working now one thing uh, we were there is one guy here in our type Doge Academy community on Gitter that was asking how the subscription happened because in the project reactor we were using subscribe in the method but here at the webflex we are not using anything so the spring will do that for you so if you go inside this uh, class and you search for the method service all the way at the end you can see that the subscribe it's happening so it's not like some magic that you are returning the flux without being uh, subscribed but uh, we do have someone subscribing on that for you okay so let's stop the this video for now in the next one we will continue and we are going to add uh, some more methods to the service and you here in the controller. So I see you in the next video. Bye.